The infamous seeds. Yeah. When Ian Ferris got his hands on this grass seed last month, he had no idea what was about to grow. So it was just a bag of grass seed. Just a bag of grass seed that came from Yankee Stadium and ended up at Fenway Park during a fish concert. How did you sneak it in? Uh, down in front of my pants. And that worked? And it worked. The Shelburne, Vermont man, a manager at the Hooters restaurant in South Burlington, is a former New Yorker and avid Yankees fan who wanted to sprinkle a little fun on the long-standing Red Sox-Yankees rivalry. His friend bought a bag of grass seed at New York's new stadium. And this is a specific blend made just for Yankee Stadium. And suggested Ferris use it to taint the turf at Fenway. So there he was, May 31st, among thousands of fish fanatics. Song ended, lights went down, and I... Threw it up and it, and it landed in between uh, the pitcher's mound and first base. It was two parts fun, one part revenge for Ferris, who, like many New Yorkers, has been holding a bit of a grudge since a buried David Ortiz jersey was excavated last year at Yankee Stadium. A guy planted a jersey five feet under concrete at our new stadium, so I think throwing a little grass seed on the field is a little mild. So the question is, will the Yankees grass grow on the Red Sox soil? Well, Ferris admits he doesn't have much of a green thumb, but based on his own yard, sure, it may grow, but it may not be pretty. Some Sox fans will take this planting in stride. I don't think it was the right thing to do, that's for sure, but I just don't think it hurt anybody. But they surely are not in the mood for any more curses. 86 years without a World Series win was hard enough. And frankly, at the end of the day, uh, the Red Sox will emerge victorious now that the curse of the Bambino has been lifted. On the subject of curses, Joe Citro is an expert, and he believes sometimes they do work. Very, very generally, it takes two to make a curse, and usually the one who wins is the one with the stronger will. The curse is being put to the test in a three-game series. Ferris, of course, will be rooting for the blue and white and green. It's, it's fun to me, you know, and I hope people see it as that way. In Shelburne, Anya Haneke, News Channel 5.